title, The Whispering Woods. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains lies a dense forest known as Whispering Woods. Legend has it that the trees themselves carry whispers of the souls lost within their shadows, and those who dare to wander too deep into the woods never return. Among the locals, it's a place spoken of only in hushed tones, a place where the boundary between the living and the dead blurs into darkness. Chapter 1. The Call of the Woods In the quaint town of Willow Creek, nestled at the edge of whispering woods, lived Sarah, a young woman with a fascination for the supernatural. Ever since she was a child, she had heard stories of the woods' eerie reputation, stories of spirits that wandered the forest at night, luring unsuspecting travelers deeper into its depths. Sarah's curiosity had grown over the years, fueled by whispered tales and old folk legends. Despite the warnings from the townsfolk, she found herself drawn to the woods like a moth to a flame. One fateful night, beneath the glow of the full moon, she made up her mind to venture into whispering woods, armed only with a flashlight and a sense of adventure. Chapter 2. Into the Abyss As Sarah stepped beneath the canopy of ancient trees, she felt a chill run down her spine. The air seemed to grow thick with a sense of foreboding, and the silence was deafening. Every step she took echoed through the darkness, the sound bouncing off the gnarled roots and twisted branches that reached out like skeletal fingers. Despite her growing unease, Sarah pressed on, guided by an inexplicable pull deeper into the heart of the woods. Shadows danced around her, playing tricks on her mind, and strange whispers filled the air, barely audible, but unmistakably present. She brushed them off as a trick of her imagination, but deep down, she knew there was something more sinister at play. Chapter 3 The Lost Souls As Sarah wandered deeper into the woods, she stumbled upon an old, dilapidated cabin hidden amongst the trees. It stood as a grim reminder of the lives lost within the forest's grasp, its windows shattered and its walls crumbling with age. Despite the overwhelming sense of dread that washed over her, she couldn't resist the urge to explore its decaying interior. Inside, she found signs of a struggle, furniture overturned, and claw marks etched into the walls. The air was heavy with the stench of decay, and Sarah could feel the weight of the past pressing down on her with every step. It was as if the cabin itself held the memories of those who had perished within its walls, trapped in an eternal cycle of torment. Chapter 4 The Unseen Presence As Sarah turned to leave the cabin behind, she felt a presence watching her from the shadows. Goosebumps prickled her skin as she scanned the darkness, her flashlight casting long, twisted shadows that seemed to move of their own accord. She knew she wasn't alone, knew that something was lurking just out of sight, waiting to pounce. With her heart pounding in her chest, Sarah quickened her pace, desperate to escape the suffocating grip of the forest. But no matter how fast she ran, the darkness seemed to stretch out before her, endless and unyielding. The whispers grew louder, taunting her with promises of doom, and she knew that she was running out of time. Chapter 5 The Final Confrontation Just when Sarah thought she couldn't take another step, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight. In the center stood a gnarled oak tree, its branches twisted and contorted into grotesque shapes. At its base lay a shallow grave, marked by a crude wooden cross weathered by time. As Sarah approached the grave, she felt a chill run down her spine. It was as if the very air around her had grown thick with malice, suffocating her with its icy grip. She knew that she had stumbled upon something ancient and malevolent, 
something that had been waiting for her to arrive. With trembling hands, Sarah began to dig, her heart pounding in her chest with each shovelful of dirt. It wasn't long before she uncovered a skeletal hand reaching out from the earth, its bony fingers curled into claws. Horror washed over her as she realized the truth, that she had unearthed the remains of those lost within the woods, victims of its insatiable hunger. Chapter 6, The Escape. With a scream of terror, Sarah scrambled to her feet, her mind racing with thoughts of escape. She knew that she had to leave the woods before it was too late, before she became just another victim of its cursed embrace. As she ran, branches clawed at her skin, and roots reached up from the earth to trip her. But Sarah refused to give in to fear, refused to let the woods claim her soul as it had so many others. With every ounce of strength she possessed, she pushed forward, driven by the desperate need to survive. And as the first light of dawn broke through the trees, she burst forth from the forest, her body battered and bruised, but her spirit unbroken. Epilogue The Haunting Though Sarah escaped Whispering Woods that fateful night. The horrors she witnessed would haunt her for the rest of her days. She tried to put the experience behind her, to convince herself that it was nothing more than a bad dream. But deep down, she knew the truth, knew that the woods held secrets far darker than she could ever imagine. And as she lay awake at night, listening to the whispers that echoed through her mind, she couldn't help but wonder if she had truly escaped at all. For in the heart of Whispering Woods, where the boundary between the living and the dead blurs into darkness. There are some nightmares from which there is no escape.